Now in Luke chapter 10, verse 17, it says, And the seventy returned again with joy, saying, Lord, even the devils are subject unto us through your name. And he said unto them, I beheld Satan as lightning fall from heaven. Verse 19, Behold, I give unto you power, authority, to tread on serpents and scorpions, and over all the power, ability of the enemy, and nothing shall by any means hurt you. Now, Another point on this, during the seminar this week, a person had asked, and it's a great question, if we were promised, and if the disciples were promised, that nothing shall hurt them, how, many, how come so many of them died at, by martyrdom? And I showed from Hebrews that it was by choice. Why? They forsook, they, they did not accept or receive deliverance. In other words, deliverance, now, for you not to accept it means it had to be offered. So it was offered, but they didn't accept it so that they could get a better resurrection. So that's why that happened that way. Now, <clears throat> now notice this. In verse 20, well, let me go back to that, because you need to know what the, the principles and the promises. Now, see, there's principles. That's like a system that God uses. See, the principle of sowing and reaping is a system that God uses uh, to bless mankind with. So that's a, it's a, it's a, principle. It's a system. But now there's also promises. And the promises, okay, systems tend to work. Principles tend to work. They will work if you work them, but they're working even if you're not working them. Does that make sense? See, the law of gravity works whether you're trying to make, you don't have to get up and go, okay, I'm going to gravity today. I believe in you. And today my feet are going to stay on the ground. I'm not going to float off into space. See, you don't have to do that. Why? Because there's a system that God has put in place. Amen? Does this make sense? And now, the thing is, when you learn that system, you can use that system. And see, by using the system and the principles of gravity, we've learned how to fly planes. Why? Because if you're going to fly a plane, the principle of gravity has to be kept in your mind all the time. Right? If not, it will apply itself to you. (laughs) All right? (laughs) So... So there are these principles. Then there's promises. Now, the promises lie there dormant until you pick them up and uh, and believe them and apply them. In other words, it's like when you see that promise, you have to decide to take that promise and apply it to yourself and go, that promise, that's, that's me. That's mine right there. And when you do that, what you're doing is you're flipping on the switch of faith, as we could, if we could say it that way. And you start believing in that, and the second you turn that thing on, it starts working, right? That promise you start. Now, the minute you believe it, it starts working in you. But then how do you execute that? By action, as some people would say, corresponding action. You find a a promise. What is a promise? Well, the believer shall lay hands on the sick, and they shall recover. That's a promise. Now, that promise can sit there dormant. You can read it. You can mentally assent to it. You can go, oh, yeah, that's true, yep, mm -hmm." and yet never lay hands on the sick. And if you don't, they won't recover. But if you believe it, and then you apply corresponding action, meaning you go out and lay hands on the sick, guess what? Then that promise is part of you. You, you take that into you. And by taking that promise into you, you, be a, you become a partaker of God's divine nature. That's what Peter tells us. Why? Because it's God, now get this, it's God's divine nature to heal the sick. That's his nature, right? And so you, whenever you do that, you're taking on that nature. And so there are promises in these promises that we have to pick up and start to do. And when you do that, you flip on that switch. You start doing it. It becomes a part of your spiritual DNA. It's already there. It's already in your spiritual DNA. But you have to turn that DNA, that gene, that spiritual gene in you. You have to turn it on. And you do that through obedience, right? And now understand, obedience is faith demonstrated. Amen? So you, you, just, just some things to write down, take note of, all right? Now, 